Well, we're having a special and happy day at Fazenda Ambiental Fortaleza today. We have the visit of uh, Campos Coffee from Australia and the visit of Johan Nistrom from Sweden. Uh, and the, the buyers of specialty coffee, they learned about us and they came to look for the best coffees they could in Brazil. This morning we went to Marco's farm, uh, which is just here, uh, and uh, that was really, really interesting to see because uh, they grow coffee side by side with all other forms of trees and bushes, and, and you can really see the, the wildlife as well. Uh, so you can have one with the other because usually you just have huge fields of coffee and nothing else, but here you have a really the, the whole thing with, uh, with animals and different type, types of uh, crops and uh, it was just, it was really, really good to see that you can do this without inflicting the, the environment and I think also it will, it will give a much better coffee. Aqui é uma cliente peculiar da região que você pode ter um café seco ao pé. Você pode deixar o café secar no pé. Isso você só acontece em algumas regiões do Brasil e algumas regiões da Etiópia. O café, cereja, ele tem esse mel. As essências que vão penetrar no, 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 no pergaminho e vão ser para o grão podem ser torradas. E as que não podem ser torradas vêm para a casca. Aqui nós temos um café bem distinto, um café cereja e aqui um café passa. Esse aqui o café passa, ele já foi seco no pé de café. Então todas as essências dele penetraram dentro do grão de café. Você vai olhar bem com bem, você vai ver umas bolhas de café aqui dentro do pergaminho, que são exatamente as, os, os óleos essenciais que passaram pelo pergaminho e estão em contato com o grão de café. E o grão de café está absorvendo esses ácidos, esses aminoácidos, essas essências. Quando for ser torrado, vai ser um café completo, bem complexo. Esse daqui já é um café que não vai ter a complexidade desse outro, porque ele não tem é, esses, esses, esses essências, ainda não penetraram pelo pergaminho. Essa é uma característica da nossa região. O café pode secar no pé de café, que vai dar um sabor bem diferenciado, sabor bem complexo. O que acontece é que todo o sugar que está dentro da árvore vai dentro da árvore de bean. So what you should get is uh, just the perfect, uh, ripe, uh, sweet uh, coffee. And, and for me, that's, a, that's the kind of coffee I, I love. I love that sweet uh, red fruit in a coffee. For me, that's sort of the holy grail in coffee. And I think this has got all the potential in that. Uh, so uh, that process together with the organic farming, for me, that's, uh, I mean, it, it, can't, it can't get, it doesn't get any better than that. Today we create what we call the reservas. The, like wine, we have reservas coffee. And we have several families who work with us. We have the reserva from Alcindo, we have the reserva from Lauro, we have reserva from the Minucci family, or we have a reserva from the Rosetto's family, or the Facconi families. You know, it's just funny, it's all Italians because of this region. You know, the Italians, after abolitions, the Italians came to work on the coffee. Today, they either work here and there you know, you know, partnership with us, or we partners in their farm and help them to really incentive them to come up with the best coffees. Fazem três anos que nós estamos aí começamos um trabalho de qualidade orgânico. Esse ano nós pegamos o certificado internacional de orgânico agora em janeiro. Nós estamos catando, colhendo só o maduro na árvore, dando uma catada no verde em cima do terreiro, para que ele fique um café de verdade especial, mais do que especial, um café super fino. I heard that it's more than 500 farmers around just around this area and only two are organic. So I think it's uh, for us I feel uh, like a responsibility to support them in what they're doing because I think they it's really important for the future. Esse daí é um da é um o terreiro suspenso né, que a gente está fazendo, ele dá uma alta qualidade no café. E a gente trabalha com a família, né? a gente, os homens trabalham na roça e as mulheres trabalham no, no terreiro. Né? Minha mãe, minha, minha mulher. E, então é um trabalho muito, com muito carinho que a gente faz. 
The reason why we're here is to basically trace the beans from the very, very beginning. I think personally, by what I saw today, um, this is our fourth or fifth farm and so far it's just unbelievable. It's unreal how much, how much uh, you know, passion and how much manpower is behind those beans. They, all, all the growers and farmers, most of them are very organic. As a specialty coffee um, company, Campus Coffee would love to be a part of, of the project as well as introduce and um, tell the Marcos story to the public, to the retail and, and wholesale customers in, in Australia. Uh, now they're in the process of uh, cupping those coffees. Everybody's here waiting to see what the cupping results going to be. That's just the beginning of the season. It's not going to give the final, final score, but it's going to give us a good idea if it's more fruity and if we're going the right direction. And um, we are all very anxious, but we know that this year uh, is going to be a very special year for uh, Fazenda Ambiental Fortaleza and uh, the partners. Yes, the quality here. I have cup some coffee yesterday, and I think it was was, was very good. And I think if if uh, the growers can take care of the of the soil and producing and pick uh, when the coffee is 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 ripe, then I think this region can produce some marvelous coffees.